Baby with the hiccups. So just to give you a quick summary and update on the hospital situation, obviously I'm home now. Um, for about a week, I've had really bad back aches, which I just attributed to being pregnant. And then about four or five days in, it started getting worse and worse. Um, it was really bad at work, almost unbearable. I just like was trying to get through the day. Um, to the point where I was kind of coming home crying, it was so bad. So I called the gynecologist and they basically said to go into labor and delivery and that I shouldn't have waited so long, which again, I didn't know any better. So I think the tone in her voice and what she was saying for me to do kind of made me panic and Ryan was at work. Yeah, that wasn't a fun phone call. It's like, what? You're yeah, I- Labor and delivery. Yeah, I was confused. I don't know, I, they're just trying to you know cover all ankles, I guess. Yeah. So I called my mom and my dad and they came within like 30 minutes, picked me up, took me there. And <clears throat> we were there for about four hours, um, ran a bunch of tests, and everything came back normal. Like I wasn't, you know, having contractions. The baby looked fine. Baby was <laughs> moving. Every nurse that came in was like, your baby is moving a lot. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of cool. Um, we, I got tested for like kidney stones, um, anything kidney related. I had an ultrasound on my kidneys and everything came back fine for the most part. The thing that they told me was that um, my kidneys were enlarged, which is common in pregnancy, and that it was more like muscular stuff. Yeah. So I probably did something and I just, I don't well, remember. Yeah, I mean, they diagnosed her with like bilateral hydro, uh, hydronephrosis. So it's which if you know our empty. situation, yeah. I'm bilateral. I like, yeah. I had bilateral hydrocele pinks, which is why I had my fallopian tubes removed, so. Right, sorry, so yeah, I guess the bladder wasn't emptying because of pressure. I guess it's very, very common. I've read some articles say up to 90% of pregnancies and during the second trimester, people will have that. It's like a writhing pain and she had it on one side, but when she came home, I could actually feel like a knot on, on her back and I would try to massage it out. But yeah, they attributed to possibly kind of two things, one muscular and then two, the like small hydronephrosis. So mm -hmm. um, they also kept saying like how tiny my frame was. And so obviously this is my first baby. My body's not used to stretching like this and and working in this way, so. And there's that uh, hormone relaxin that's yes. getting you know, produced by the body now, which actually makes uh, pregnant women a little bit more susceptible to uh, mus muscular injuries. So mm -hmm. that could be also contributing to uh, to her sensitivity mm -hmm. with movement. Yeah. So. so really the only reason I went in was because my gynecologist basically told me to. Um, <clears throat> and I feel okay for now, yeah. but it's also the weekend, so I'm more relaxed. Um, I'm sure next week when the work week starts, it'll start up again, but I have medication now. So if that happens, I can just take some medication for it, so. Yeah, I think today we'll just be doing some Mario Party, maybe Mario Kart. Yeah, just, just uh, laying low, because I've low. just been in so much pain all the time, so. Yeah, you just gotta take care of this little cookie <clears throat> here. Yeah, so everything's good. Um, in 24 weeks and three days today. Ooh. So we're in the viability um, phase, if you, that's what you want to call it. Yeah, um, if, 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 if goes baby were to come early, early. Yeah. yeah. Which we don't want it to, we yeah. want it to, you know, continue to cook up there and eat. Yeah, but she's kicking so, like yeah. crazy um, every day and. But she's stubborn, man. She's real stubborn. She doesn't, you know, as soon as I come into the room, it's like she knows. 
And she stops she kicking. She stops, yeah. Like she could feel my presence. I'm like, come on. But Ryan has felt her a few oh, times. Yeah. There's oh, yeah. some. There's sometimes I'm like, whoa. Like, <laughs> well, like, that's inside. We'll look that. at each other and we'll be like, holy <laughs> smokes. <laughs> yeah. Or feel that? Yeah, but. so that's always reassuring. Um, I don't know anything else going on. Really just babies kick in and the back aches has been yeah. really what's going on. Not a whole lot. Our registry is finally complete. <laughs> um, we registered at three places because we felt like um, we included Amazon because they were cheaper with a lot of things. So we mm. finished Bye Bye Baby, Target, and Amazon. So yeah. that's a good feeling. Yeah. <clears throat> Our baby shower invitations went out. Our baby shower will be in March. So we're just kind of gearing up for that. Mm -hmm. Haven't quite started nesting yet. Mm -mm. We so, kind of need still, stuff, yeah. like furniture and yeah. stuff. Um, our next doctor's visit is the end of January, which because I went to the hospital, they wanted me to follow up with her anyway, so that kind of worked out. Mm -hmm. And then I will be drinking the glucose drink. Um, Gestational when I go there. diabetes. Yeah, that's what we're to test for. for that. And so, anemia. Yes. Um, but we still have our two names for the girl. I know people have been asking mm -hmm. us, lots of people have been asking mm -hmm. us, what are we naming mm -hmm. her? Um, we still have the two names that were, were honestly equally in love with. Yeah, I the guess. one like started growing on me within the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. and it's like, hmm. Yeah. So I kind of sneak in the, the little name here and there when I'm talking to the baby. I don't know night. why he does that. She mm -hmm. does not have a name. We're just kind of torn at this point. Yeah. So. Um, but we decided that we probably should start showing you the baby's room first uh, before anything gets yeah, in like it. Yeah, before and after. Yeah, before and after. It's for the most part empty because since we got into this house, we've always left it empty thinking mm -hmm. we'd fill it up soon and it's just taken a lot yeah, longer. Yeah. But Everything happens for a reason though. Yeah, so, so we wanted to show you we did get some stuff from our registry mm -hmm. already shipped to us and one of those was a high chair. So let's bring you along. Yep and show you the high chair it was the duo diner uh, duo diner duo diner three great in one girl. high chair yeah great great girl, right so yeah great girl so this is what it looks like here's like an actual picture anyone have this high chair do you like it what's the pros and cons we haven't opened it yet mm -hmm. obviously yeah and then we will take you upstairs and show you the yep. baby's room. Well, here's the baby's room. For most part, it's empty. Yeah. Um, I've started organizing. I can't remember if we put that on the last video or not, but. Oh, I should show you. I will got... insert a picture of me organizing. Newborn, mm -hmm. zero three, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this one's a little, uh, she's a little crazy. I just, I love org. That's like my thing. I love organizing. So, closet, I tried to clean out and get empty. Oh, there's another blizzard. Yeah. They don't know what that means. That was my dog's name. Um, I'm, I got, like, just the newborn stuff up and ready. Down here is all, like, her... Oh, my gosh, we just got these. Look how cute they are, these bows. <laughs> um, yeah, just all, like, the random stuff that is not clothes is, I put in here. Bibs, bottles... Yeah, so we just need furniture basically. Yeah. But um, yeah. So this is the baby's room. We talked about putting the crib over here, but then I don't know. We will have to figure out yeah. all the spacing. We here. tried like measuring so. everything out, but we're just like we're ready. Yeah. So yeah. So 24 weeks. This is what it looks like. I know I'm wearing black. It's probably hard to see. No, but. But I definitely feel bigger. Definitely got the bump going. Yep. The baby's doing good. That's mm -hmm. the most important thing. So. Exactly. And you got to see her because you were in the... Oh, so... You got the ultrasound for the kidneys. I had my kidney ultrasound, and the lady was super nice and went to my belly to show me baby. And I was like, oh, my husband's going to be so jealous. Yeah, because I was at work still. Yeah, he was at work. I was by myself, and I got to see baby, and she was waving and, like, grabbing her feet and... It was like an extra bonus for her going to the hospital. So I came home, I was like, Ryan, I had to tell you something, you're gonna be mad, but. I wasn't mad. She printed I was, pictures. I was jealous. Yeah, she printed pictures, which was nice. So I got to bring yeah. those home. But um, really quick to end the video. The next video we wanna do is another Q&A. We've had so many more new subscribers and we've been getting a lot of the same questions. So 
um, which is understandable because they don't really know our whole story. So if you have any questions, new, old, ask us, and we will include those in our Q&A for the next video. Other than that, we will talk to you guys later. Yep.